All right, so in this video, what we're going to be doing is talking about how to actually calculate the tonicity of cells and the movement of water. First thing you need to do is make sure you have your piece of paper out or your whiteboard out. And what I want you to do is two things to start off. Um, I want you to first write down hyper, hypo, and iso, and try to write down what they, those words mean. And I also want you to do is try these problems. Okay, write them down, and draw them out on your whiteboard or your piece of paper, and try them out. So pause the video, do that now, and then we're going to go through the answers. All right, so hopefully you've gone through these and tried them out on your own, so let's go through everything. Um, knowing what these words means is important. So you should know that hyper means greater, hypo means less, and iso means equal. And what we're talking about there is the solute in the extracellular space or outside the cell. And the one crucial thing that you're going to remember, and a little takeaway from this and help you remember everything, right? This all comes together if you can remember hypo, right? Because we like to say that hypo makes a hippo, okay? Which means the cell is going to fill with water and get big and fat. We also have a little saying of hypo cyto. So hypotonic goes with cytolysis, okay? So the cytolysis is the process of water moving in. And if you remember that, you'll remember that plasmolysis goes with hypertonic, and that equilibrium goes with isotonic, okay? So I remember this little saying, if I can remember the hypo stuff, the hypotonic stuff, I can kind of remember the rest. All right, let's go through a few of these problems to see how you did. And we know that uh, these percents on the extracellular and the intracellular, they always add up to 100. So 60% salt um, means I need to have 40% water in the extracellular space because 40 plus 60 equals 100. And we do the same thing for the intracellular space. We have 30% water, so we have to have 70% salt on the inside. Now what we're going to do is draw an arrow for the direction and the movement of the water. Okay, Water always moves from high to low, so I'm only going to look at the water. I'm going to disregard the salt right now. So I have 40% water and 30% water, so water is going to move from the 30, sorry, from the 40 to the 30. It's going to move into the cell. All right, so two things left. I need to first describe the tonicity. Okay, and to do that, I always take a look at this number here. I'm going to take a look at the um, solute and the extracellular space. And I ask myself, is 60 greater than, equal to, or less than 70? And you should say it's less than. And the word less than goes with hypo. Okay, so the tonicity, the solution, is called a hypotonic solution. Okay, hypotonic solution. And that makes sense, right? We said hypo makes a hippo. Water's going in, the cell is getting bigger. That makes lots of sense. And we also remember hypocyto. So that process of water going in is called cytolysis. All right, let's try another one. All right, they add up to 100. So I have 20% water and I have 20% oxygen. When I figure out the movement of water, I always take a look at the water. So 20% water, 80% water, we're going to go from high concentration towards the low concentration. So it moves out of the cell in this situation. Now I'm going to figure out the tonicity. Okay, so I've got, I'm going to start here. Is 80 greater than, equal to, or less than 20? And you're going to say it's greater than. And you remember that the word greater goes with hypertonic. Okay, so this solution would be a hypertonic solution. Okay, and that makes sense. Water is leaving the cell. It's wilting the cell. It's getting smaller. And the word that we use for the cell getting smaller is plasmolysis. Okay, great. So if you're having trouble with those, you need to make sure you go back and keep practicing them and keep watching this. Let's run through a quick word problem and talk about how we would solve that. So here's one. If a shipwrecked crew drinks seawater, they will probably die. Why would this occur? All right, so let's think about it. If they're drinking seawater, uh, they're going to have salty water around all of their cells. And the very first thing I like to think about is where is the water going to move? Is salty, is that water going to move in or out of the cell? Well, you're going to know that the water is going to be moving out of the cell. Okay, that's a hypertonic solution, and that is um, plasmolysis. Okay, so always ask yourself in these word problems, where is water moving? All right, so make sure you rewatch this video if you're having trouble with this. Make sure you reach out for help if you're having trouble with these big idea concepts.